Hello students, this is Wichstone free circuit. It contains four resistors. Uh, this is a resistor R1, second resistor R2, third resistor here R3, fourth resistor R4. So these four resistors are arranged in the form of body letter. They are kept at the four side of a body letter. So out of these four resistance, this R1 is a known resistance. We know we know its value. It's given here 2.5 kilo ohm. That's a known resistance. And this second resistance, resistance R2, it is also known resistance. We know its value, it's 3.5 kilo ohm. The third resistance R3, it is known but it's, it is a variable resistance. Its resistance can be varied. By rotating this, you can change its resistance. So we know its resistance as well as we can take, or we can do the desired value. We can change its resistance so it is called variable. They, their resistance is fixed. R1 and R2, their resistance is fixed but R3 can be changed. It is known but variable resistance that can be varied. And this R4 is the unknown resistor whose resistance is to be determined. So at two opposite at two opposite corners, or uh, suppose we be at two opposite corner A and D, a galvanometer is connected. So here galvanometer is connected across A and B and at another opposite junction A and B a battery is connected battery is connected so we, which is the which is some bridge circuit which contains four resistors arranged in the form of quadrilateral at one opposite junction galvanometer is connected and at another opposite junction a battery is connected so we use this circuit to find the value of this unknown resistance. So this variable resistance should be changed. It should be changed in such a way that the galvanometer shows zero deflection. Now you can see that the current is flowing through the galvanometer. Current is flowing here. It's flowing from B towards D. Current is flowing from B towards D. Now if you change the value of this variable resistance, the current flowing through C to D goes on decreasing. Here, the galvanometer is showing null deflection, zero deflection. It means current is not flowing through this galvanometer. Uh, if you further increase the value of variable resistance, galvanometer is deflect in opposite direction. So current flows from D to C. So the variable resistance can be changed. When you change the variable resistance, so the current flowing in the galvanometer uh, gets increased or decreased at, and at some point, at one point, the deflection becomes zero, current flowing through the galvanometer becomes zero. So when you increase the variable resistance, so galvanometer source of deflection, current is flowing here, current is flowing, it's flowing from D towards C. And when you slide it in another direction, when you decrease the value of this variable resistance, so when you decrease it, you can see that current is again flowing in the galvanometer, is flowing from C to D. You can see the two arrow which are very dim. It means less amount of current is flowing. So what we do is we slide this. Uh, we change the variable resistance in order to get zero deflection. So when the gal galvanometer shows zero deflection, non deflection, it means that current is not flowing in this wire CD. Current is not flowing through the galvanometer. So in this case according to the principle of Wheatstone bridge circuit R4 upon R2 will be equals uh, will R4 is equals to R2 into R3 upon R4 that means R1 upon R2 will be equals to R3 upon R4 in balance condition uh, the ratio R1 upon R2 will be equals to R3 upon R4 since the two resistors are known the value of variable resistance is also known 2.2 22 kilo ohm, only one resistance is unknown, R4, this value can be found.
Hello, students. Uh, this is a meter bridge. A meter bridge contain on one meter long wire. So this is one meter long wire. This is one meter long wire. The wire is kept parallel to a meter scale. You can see scale over here. The wire is kept parallel to this meter scale. Or is kept parallel to, to this meter scale. And the two ends of the wires are connected to yell shaped metal strips, generally copper. So here also the other end is connected to yell shaped metal strip. And in between them there is another original metal strip. So because of these three strips, two gaps are formed here. This is one gap and this is another gap. So to start the experiment, so in one of the gap, we keep resistance box from where the known resistance can be taken out. In another gap, we keep the unknown resistor or a wire whose resistance is to be calculated. So here in the left gap, I'll keep a resistance box. So from here, we can take out some known resistance. And in another gap, I'll keep a wire whose resistance is to be determined. So this is the wire, this resistance is to be determined. Now, two ends of this wire should be connected to a battery. Like this is this two end and this end will be connected to a battery. So uh, right end is connected to positive terminal and left end is connected to negative terminal of the battery and a key switch is kept to on or off the circuit. Now in order, in order to begin the experiment, let's just start now. So first we take out some resistance from the resistance box. So you can choose any value, so I'll take 5 ohm. Next, you insert key here. You insert, you close the key so that current will flow. Okay, the key is also inserted. Now we slide the jockey over this wire, over this wire, and the position of the jockey can be seen in this scale. It's magnified here, and the deflection in the galvanometer can be seen here. It's magnified. The galvan, the reading galvanometer is magnified over here. So I'll start sliding the jockey here. So when I start sliding jockey, you can see that there is deflection in the galvanometer. Uh, when I slide it to the right, when I slide it in to the right, the deflection is in one direction, like left. And when I slide it to left, the deflection is in opposite direction, it's in right. So if the deflection in, is in opposite direction, if the deflection at two ends of the wires is in opposite direction, it means that the circuit we connected is correct. Here, the jockey is in the right position, and deflection is in the left, and when you slide the jockey to the left, the deflection in the galvanometer is in the right. So galvanometer shows deflection in two opposite directions when the jockey is slided in, at left and at right. Now, what we do is, we slowly slide the jockey over the wire to get zero deflection in the galvanometer. The needle should be showing zero. It's not working properly here. The simulation is not pro pro working properly. It's not showing zero here. So actually what you have to do is, uh, you'll have to uh, point this needle to zero. The needle should be showing zero. It should be showing zero. Uh, so slowly slide the jockey so that the galvanometer will show zero deflection. It's not working properly, so just I'm explaining you how to. So when the galvanometer shows zero deflection, look at the position of the jockey in the in this scale. So it's magnified here. So this is the jockey. Uh, so this jockey is at around the key is kept at around 52.3 or 52.3 centimeter. So we note this length. Uh, this length is around 52.3 centimeter. 
So the remaining length will be 100 centimeter minus 52.3 centimeter. 0.3 centimeter. 